Today I want to take a second or a couple minutes to show how to count the words in a column. So for example, I've got this column. Uh, these are some scores that I um, just kind of have and took the names out and stuff. But these are um, high, expected, and low. And I want to um, figure out how many of each there are now. If there was only eight students, that'd be fine. But you know, we have 100 plus students. Uh, it's nice to have a formula that will count it. Um, so as you edit it, it will keep um, the, the data up to date. So uh, I'm going to use this website. I'm going to go it's a unique the code we're going to put in. We want to put it in right. It doesn't really matter where, but I'm going to put it right here. Well, this code, because this is all set up on this spreadsheet, A through D and 1 through 16, then the letters are off. So we have to make the, um, we have to change the numbers and stuff. So um, what this has done is it has counted this row over here um, and counted how many times was each. So we need to change that. I'm going to say uh, the, the column that I'm wanting to count is this column right here. It's, um, so what is that, K2 to K8. I'm going to change that from K2 to K8. You see, if I were to do 9, it would also include um, cell 9. It's got this little dotted line around it. So K2 to K8. I don't know why, but I want to bold that first one, so I'm going to unbold it. Um, and now I need to figure out how many times those words, each of the, how many times was high in there, how many times was expected, how many times was slow. So now we're going to go down to count the, the count if. Paste it here. Oh, because this is based on the A column, there are no high expected or lows on here, so the number is zero. But there's no high, so it, numbers here. So we need to change that. I want to change it to the same thing as this, K2 to K8. So K2, my instance, it's K8. But you see this other number, C2, um, that's asking where, what word you're trying to find. So what the formula is saying is, this formula is saying, how many times has O2, what I want to say is, how many times has this word in O2 shown in these columns. And so what's actually asking is C2, which is over here, 46. That's not right. We need to make it O2. There we go. That's the square that I'm trying to count. When I'm done, it says three. One, two, three. Um, and I can do the same thing over here. I could paste that in, um, change it to K2 and to K8, and then say O3. But I'm not going to do that because there's an easier way. I'm just going to take what I've already done and push it out to the other ones. Um, so now you can see high is on there, one, two, three. Expected is on there, one, two, three. And low is on there once. Um, if I add other words, that would involve, so if I put um, the word lion in there, go to add, I need to push this out. Um, so now there's one lion word and one low. Um, but do that. So you can change whatever words are here. Um, that's what it's going to be counting in that column. Um, and for other ones, I've, I've already done some other formulas um, that it says, you know, if, if this is a pretest, if, if this column, uh, I'm sorry, uh, if uh, their score, their post score is higher than this number, then it's going to turn it yellow. I'm sorry, then it's going to say expected. If it's higher than this score, it's actually going to say high. Um, if it's lower, if this number, like down here, if this number is lower than that number, then it's going to be, it's going to say low. And then I did some conditional formatting um, and said, you know, if the word H-I-G-H is there, make it green, expected, yellow, and low, red. So that way I can just kind of easily visualize it. Um, and then I wanted to see how, like, this person was low how far away were they from actually getting that? So I could easily look down my list of 100 plus students and see this person was literally two to three questions away from making their expected growth, which is very frustrating. I have one student that was one point away. Um, so those are some some formulas that um, that may help, I'm not sure, um, to, to figure all this out. So.